Welcome into the Can-Am off-road side-by-side -side world. We want to congratulate you on acquiring your new Can-Am off-road SSV. Now give us a few minutes of your attention and you'll be rewarded with the best possible riding experience and more ways to keep you, your family, and your friends safe off-road. I'm Hubert Rowland, everybody's favorite redneck from Nitro Circus. And I'm Dale Brisby, the world's greatest bull rider. And I'm Zach Wilson, Can-Am product specialist. Now, this video contains important safety information. Take the time to view it carefully before using your vehicle. Failure to do so may result in serious injury or death. At this time, we're gonna take a look at the operator's requirements. Take note that it is also important to read and follow your operator's guide. We recommend looking over your operator's guide while seated in your vehicle. That way you know where to find the controls and how to use them. It's important to know how to use these controls properly when needed. Before each ride, the operator and passenger should read and understand their respective safety labels to remind themselves important safety tips. It is of utmost importance that you and your passenger always buckle up seat belts and lateral nets before riding. Furthermore, the operator and passenger should always keep their entire bodies inside the cockpit. BRP recommends that all operators are 16 and older with a valid driver's license. But be aware that nobody at any age should be allowed to ride an SSV if they're not responsible enough to ride properly. Before you go out for a ride, it's very important to familiarize yourself with the handling of your vehicle by practicing in a controlled setting. Each operator must be able to sit with their back against the seat, foot flat on the footrest, and hands on the steering wheel. You must avoid anything that impairs your own abilities, like alcohol, drugs, or fatigue. Drinking and driving don't mix. You know it, don't do it. In this section, we're gonna talk about pre-ride inspection. So first off, before you ride, you should give your vehicle a pre-ride inspection. Refer to the pre-ride inspection subsection and the operator's guide. This inspection monitors wear and deterioration before they cause problems. Your inspection should become an automatism in your preparation routine, just like checking weather forecasts. Correct any problems that you discover. See an authorized Can-Am dealer if necessary. For this section, we'll be talking about riding gear. Riding an open air vehicle like your Can-Am side-by-side requires wearing protective gear. Protective gear is comfortable, but it also keeps you safe from the elements. Recommended protective gear includes, above all, an approved helmet. An approved helmet will keep your head and your brain safe. Key thing about a helmet is make sure it fits right and make sure it's comfortable. Because you're gonna be wearing this helmet for hours on end hitting the trails on your Can-Am. Closed-toed footwear, sturdy over-the-ankle boots with non-slip soles offer more protection and allow you to plant your foot properly on the footrest. Long pants that protect you from heat, sunburn, cold temperatures, branches, and bushes. long sleeve shirts or jackets are also very important. They keep you safe from the elements, trees, brush, and sunburns. Another key piece of protective gear is full finger gloves. Gives you a good grip on the steering wheel and also keeps your hands safe from the elements of dust, sunburn, and wind. Eye protection that protects your eyes against flying elements. On long rides, it's a great idea to carry rain gear because a dry rider is having way more fun than a wet rider. In this segment, we're gonna be talking about riding with passengers. First of all, don't be putting more passengers in these machines than what they're designed for. When riding with passengers, do not carry them in the cargo area or on the tailgate. The driver is responsible for the passenger's safety and should ensure that the passengers read all the safety labels. Each passenger needs to buckle their seat belt, close the doors, secure window nets, and also be sure to keep all limbs inside the vehicle at all times. Each passenger must pay attention to the terrain ahead to be able to brace for bumps and rough terrain. The passengers must be tall enough to always be properly seated, back against the backrest with seat belt fastened, holding the handhold and feet firmly planted. The passengers must always hold on to the passenger grab handles. If you are a novice or untrained operator, you should not carry passengers until you're sufficient with operating your vehicle correctly. Now it's time to talk about stability. This vehicle handles differently from other vehicles. A rollover or tip over can occur quickly during abrupt maneuvers such as sharp turns or simply by side hilling or riding across steep hills or over obstacles. So don't assume that the vehicle will not tip or roll over. 
You must know the limits of your vehicle under different riding conditions. Don't attempt any maneuvers that may be risky for you, your passengers, or bystanders. In this segment, we're going to talk about turning. Turning is one of the most frequent causes of accidents. Avoid hard acceleration when turning, even from a stop. Slow down before entering a turn. A rollover or other accident can occur quickly during abrupt maneuvers such as sharp turns or hard acceleration or deceleration when turning. If you think or feel the vehicle may tip or roll, reduce your risk of injury by keeping a firm grip on the steering wheel or handholds and brace yourself. Do not put any part of your body outside the vehicle for any reason. For this section, we'll be talking about braking. Whether you're stopping slowly or you need to stop quickly, release the throttle and press the brake. If the wheels lock, then release the brake and reapply again. Always keep in mind that braking distance is readily affected by, but not limited to, weather and terrain conditions, braking system and tire conditions, vehicle speed and attitude, and vehicle load, including towing. Remember to adjust your driving accordingly. Slow down before entering a turn. Avoid hard braking during a turn. Always keep both hands on the steering wheel and firmly plant left foot on the footrest when braking. Now it's time to talk about shifting into park. Put the shift lever to park when exiting the vehicle. If not, the vehicle will still be able to roll. This is especially important when you're parking on a slope. On very steep inclines or if the vehicle is carrying cargo, the wheels should be blocked using rocks or bricks. For this section, we'll be talking about operating in reverse. Always be sure there's no obstacles or people behind the vehicle when you operate in reverse. Pay attention to blind spots. And when it's safe to proceed in reverse, go slowly. For this section, we're gonna talk about carrying cargo and towing a trailer. The vehicle handling, stability, and braking distance are affected when loading racks and using the vehicle. Correct loading and weight distribution are very important. Never overload, tow, or carry cargo improperly. Always ensure the cargo is safely secured and properly placed on the racks before operating the vehicle. Safely reduce speed according to terrain conditions when carrying cargo and avoid hills and rough terrain. Be careful not to skid or slide. Always secure cargo as low as possible on the racks to reduce the effect of a higher center of gravity. Failure to follow the recommendations here could cause changes in vehicle handling, which could lead to an accident. Now, pulling a trailer. Reduce your speed when pulling a trailer and turn gradually. Avoid hills and rough terrain. Never attempt steep hills. Allow more distance for braking, especially on inclined surfaces and when a passenger is on board. Be careful not to skid or slide. Improperly loading a trailer may cause a loss of control. Always put the shift lever to L low range for hauling a trailer. Now it's time to talk about terrain conditions. Always avoid paved surfaces. Riding on paved surfaces may seriously affect handling and control of the vehicle and may cause a sudden loss of control. If you must drive on pavement, turn gradually and go slowly. Driving on public roads poses risk such as collisions and may be illegal in your jurisdiction. Only proceed with caution on roads and road segments where the usage of your vehicle is permitted. The best place to ride your Can-Am side-by-side is on loose, soft, packed, unpaved surfaces. Try to avoid steep inclines. If you're not careful, you could tip over when you're going up or down hills. When you're going uphill, you should drive straight uphill. Shift the transmission to low gear and accelerate before you start to climb. Try to keep a steady speed and go easy on the throttle to avoid acceleration. Whenever possible, side hilling should be avoided. If necessary, do so with extreme caution. Side hilling on steep inclines could result in a rollover. In addition, slippery or unfirm surfaces could result in uncontrollable side sliding. If you feel the vehicle start to roll over or slide sideways, steer downhill if possible. When riding on snow, stopping distances are lengthened. Apply brake frequently to prevent ice or snow accumulation and to dry brake pads and disc. In this section, we'll be talking about driving responsibly. Driving responsibly is key. Avoid loss of control and rollovers. Avoid abrupt maneuvers, sideways sliding, skidding, or fishtailing. And don't be doing donuts. Plan for hills, 
rough terrain, ruts, and other changes in traction and terrain. Avoid side hilling. Avoid riding across slopes. Rollovers have caused severe injuries and death even on flat open areas. More specifically for side-by-side -side vehicles, the passenger must also pay constant attention to the terrain ahead and be able to brace for bumps. This concludes our overview of safety information that you need to know before riding your Can-Am side-by-side. -side. For more training or safety information, visit your local Can-Am dealer or visit our Can-Am website. Have fun and be safe as you're on to the next one. Thanks for watching the video. Now get out and ride. Welcome to the Can-Am family.